Laura Messick. And I'm Evan Shields. And we're the Green Room. Um, we're a furniture retailer designed to sell uh, green certified sustainable furniture to the residents of Albemarle County and Charlottesville to help support their uh, sustainable, eco-conscious lifestyles. So before we go into our business model, we first must ask ourselves a question. What exactly is sustainable furniture? Uh, sustainable furniture is furniture that includes lumber uh, from forests that have strict replanting uh, procedures. It includes recycled metals and plastics for uh, reduced CO2 emissions and for uh, less processing. Also, our fibers and our uh, furniture include organic cottons and soy-based cushions. 90% uh, of our time is spent indoors. Regular furniture is made with finishes, paints, and stains um, that emit toxins into the air, which we breathe in. Um, our furniture uses natural um, stains, paints, and furnishes, so it's not only good for the environment, but it's good for us as well. And our product is, in, uh, is durable because it's made of high-quality um, materials. So when we look at the sustainable furnishing market, the Sustainable Furnishings Council is a key player that we uh, plan on having a relationship with. They're a nonprofit organization that represent the best interests of green manufacturers and retailers in the furniture industry. Uh, they set business standards for these companies. They give them uh, incentives and benefits as well. Okay, so the time is right for green furniture. Uh, demand for green furniture has increased 20% since 2007, despite the economic climate. Um, people are looking for companies that help them do good and make it easy for them to do good. And Charlottesville and Albemarle County are especially eco-conscious areas. Um, the, median the median national income is $51,000. For Albemarle County, it's $81,000. It's 59% higher. So Albemarle County has the interest and the money to support green furniture. And they spend an average of 23% more on household furnishings uh, than the national average. So. We know there's a market for green furniture in Charlottesville and Albemarle County, and we plan on getting a piece of that pie. Of course, uh, according to The Hook, a Charlottesville uh, magazine, 23,000 of their readers actually plan on making home improvements <coughs> over the next year. Uh, of that percentage, 1% uh, of that uh, is going to be buying green furniture, and we plan on netting in about 250 customers annually. Okay, so this is a house built by Piedmont Realty and Construction, which is a local um, home builder, um, which designs uh, earth-friendly homes. So we plan on uh, furnishing their model homes to advertise to customers who are interested in green, and who obviously will have uh, homes to furnish. We'll also be a member of the Sustainable Furnishings Council. So when it comes to our marketing and advertising, it's a key part of our business plan. Uh, firstly, we're going to be including ads and hit publications that uh, target our niche demographics like the Hook and Seville magazine. We're also going to be doing uh, representations through blogs, Twitter, social media, uh, and the like. We're also going to be doing word of mouth advertisement and television and radio ads as well. So there are 30 uh, furniture uh, companies in Albemarle County. Ten of them say that they have some form of green furniture, and a majority of them only sell um, like fabrics and cushions that are made of organic cotton not actually hard furniture. Um, so the advantage that we have is that every piece and every part of our furniture is made, is um, certified. And when we look through the supply chain, uh, the supply chain starts with raw materials, moving to the manufacturers to turn those into beautiful furnishings that we're going to be displaying through our store, the green room, and selling directly to our customers. Okay, so the next slide has a picture of um, furniture from Vaughn Bassett, which is one of our suppliers who will be uh, supplying bedroom sets. We'll also use uh, Earth Care for mattresses and Copeland Furniture and the Industries for living room and dining room sets. These are all in the Mid-Atlantic region to reduce transportation costs, and they're all Sustainable Furniture Council members so that we can benefit from a discount. So when it comes to the actual products of our business, yeah, it's sustainable. But on top of that, you want the look the feel, the comfort, and the appeal that our products will bring you, of course. Okay, so our business will be located on East Market Street in the downtown mall, um, which is one of the highest per capita income sections in uh, Charlottesville. Um, the purpose of our store is so that customers can actually interact with our product. They can see it, they can feel it, they can sit on it, they can experience the product. Um, customers will order, uh, will send our orders to our suppliers, when we receive it, we'll deliver it to our customers in biodiesel trucks and set it up for them. So, with the operations of our company, we plan on working at like clockwork. Uh, we're going to be having, obviously, the vision of the owners, but the store manager is going to be setting most of the day-to-day -day operations. In addition, we're going to have an assistant manager of supply doing uh, orders, delivery, supply uh, orders with our manufacturers. 
We're also going to be having a crew of workmen doing most of the heavy lifting and sales associates as well. When it comes to our expectations, customer service is a main priority. We want to make sure that we keep customers coming to our business and their families uh, for the rest of their lives in Charlottesville. Expertise is also a major part of our business model. Since we're a green uh, manufacturer and re retailer, excuse, retailer, excuse me, uh, it is a major part of our business model. Okay, so our initial costs for our first year are um, estimated at about uh, $281,000. Um, that includes um, making our storefront um, green using paints, lighting, and carpeting, and it also includes the cost of our biodiesel trucks and our Sustainable Furnishings Council uh, membership. All right, so when it comes to how we're going to pay off these first year costs, uh, we're going to be asking for a $183,000 loan from a bank, preferably a small business administration loan. Uh, when it comes to the actual equity participation of both of us, uh, both of the owners will be contributing $49,000. That's going to be a total of $900,000. Uh, excuse me, $98,000. Okay, so 150% is our markup, which will leave our prices uh, reasonable and competitive. Um, we estimate we'll have about 250 customers in our first year, so our uh, net revenue in the first year will be $375,000, which will leave us with a $94,000 profit in our first year. And with all of that being said, it will take us 10 months uh, after the opening of our store to actually uh, make it in the black and break even. Okay, so we are the Green Room. Our products help the earth. They help our customers and they make a profit. Thank you.